the local food movement is, is such a, a wonderful thing that's really gained momentum and strength. And, and you all are the protagonists of, of the movement. I think I just want to open up the floor to just see if what, what, what's on people's minds. What would they want to bring to the table here? Us cooking in front of everybody would be awesome. Why don't, why don't we do like a, like a farmer's market? Make it really interactive and it's like people are coming to shop. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. I like the idea. I can totally agree with you. Having almost like a farmer's stand, but with showcasing uh, a winery or a brewery and a chef and everything all combined. I think that's, that's a great way of, of showing community and, and, and showing our relationship with the people that we work with every day. So this is um, Four Far, Ottawa Valley. Yep. Raw, unpasteurized, organic, for whatever that is worth. So Andrew, I was wondering uh, what kind of product that you have available this time of year. Looks like we have some baby ones here. These actually look like good size. Is that a bull over there with a horn going up? Uh, no, Bertrand, these are the mama cows over here. I'm thinking about doing a, uh, like a pulled French dip sandwich. I'm going to be working with uh, a side of pork that's uh, from uh, David Martin. I was thinking uh, using a Second Wind um, Farms elk. Okay, sure, I might do a tartare with some uh, some wild leeks. Those are huge, honestly. So this is our elk from uh, Second Wind Farms. I'm gonna come up here, count my ribs. One, two, three, four. So we got our applewood chips from the uh, Niagara region. Nice and smoky. Okay, hey everyone, while I've got you all, there's been a, a, a recent addition to the Open Kitchen project where we'll actually get some, you know, chef's eye view. It's going to be the, the, the chef's cam. It's really going to open up even more the, the idea of the Open Kitchen.